You are permitted to use a calculator to help you answer some of the questions on the GED mathematics test. The purpose of this video is to give you an opportunity to become familiar with this calculator before you take the test. The GED mathematics test is in two booklets with 25 questions in each. You're allowed to use a calculator only in booklet or part number one. You may not need a calculator for every question in part one, but the calculator will be available for those questions where it would be helpful to you. You may use only the calculator provided at the beginning of the test by the GED examiner. The calculator you see in this video is the same calculator you'll use when you take the mathematics test. To get started, always press the ON key in the upper right hand corner of your calculator. After doing so, you should see a single zero followed by a decimal point and DEG in small letters in the upper center of the screen. If anything else appears, press the red AC key located midway down the calculator on the right hand side to clear the screen. If either before or during your testing session you don't see the zero and DEG, immediately notify the examiner and ask for another calculator. You'll notice that this calculator has many keys. Don't worry. You'll only need to use specific keys. We'll identify those keys and demonstrate their use in this video. You need to use two types of keys. Keys for entering numbers and keys for performing functions with the numbers you've entered. A number is entered by pressing a number key into the calculator, very much like you would enter a telephone number. If you need to enter a decimal number, use the decimal point key that appears immediately to the right of the zero key. While there are many function keys on the calculator, you're not expected to use them all. The four arithmetic functions are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, represented by signs familiar to you. You should also learn to use the following function keys, equals, change sign, backspace, all clear, clear, and square root. Let's take a look at how each of these function keys works as we solve a series of problems. Before beginning any problem, press the AC or all clear key to make sure there are no numbers in the calculator's memory that could affect your answer. The red C or clear key will only clear the last number entered immediately before pressing the C key. To do any arithmetic with this calculator, simply enter the problem as it is written in your test booklet. For example, in the problem 8 minus 3 plus 9, you'd enter 8 minus 3 plus 9, and finally, equals. Your answer should be 14. Let's try another problem. 211 plus 316 plus 114. Oops, we entered 115 by mistake. There are two ways to correct an error like this. One way is by using the backspace key. The backspace key, the one with the solid triangle on it, located above the 8 key, allows us to remove one character at a time without erasing the entire number entered to this point. We press the backspace key once, and the 5 disappears. Now I can enter 4, making the entry 114. You could also have pressed the red C, or clear key. That would have erased the entire entry, 115, and you would then have to re-enter the entire number correctly. For some questions, you may need to find the square root of a number. This is the only function that requires the shift key. The shift key is located on the upper left-hand side of the calculator. The shift key accesses the second function for each key, much like the shift key on a keyboard. The second functions are notated in orange or gold above each key on the calculator. Unlike a keyboard, however, the shift key and the function must not be pressed at the same time. Notice that the square root symbol is in orange or gold directly above the square root 
or X squared key on the third from the left key in the top row. The square root function is the second function for this key. Here's what you would do to find the square root of 81. Press the AC key to clear the calculator before you begin a new problem. Then enter the following. 8, 1, shift, and square root. Note that the word shift appears in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. The correct answer appears immediately after you press the square root key. In this problem, the correct answer is 9. The final problem will work involves negative numbers. Let's do the following problem. 16 minus negative 5. To do this problem, we will use the change key located on the left-hand side of the calculator, three keys down from the top. The calculator is already on, so we press the AC key again to clear the calculator. Then we begin by entering in the 1 and the 6 to enter the positive number 16. We press the minus function key, then the 5 key. To convert the 5 to a negative number, we press the change key. We press the equal key to get the final answer, 21. You have now seen all the types of arithmetic you may have to do on part 1 of the GED mathematics test. If you feel you need further review, ask for assistance from your GED examiner. Additional examples are given as part of your test instructions. Good luck on the test, and good luck in your future.